Hey there, you guys. How are you guys doing today? Uh, we're starting early today. Because I really... Because I feel like we're really close to the end. And I think it's going to take more than maybe one or two hours. I just really want to finish this game, you know? And then after that, there'll be nothing stopping us from, from starting Demon Souls. For the final game before Elden Ring. But yeah, I'm really glad that I really think that we did like a solid break in between Souls games. Like we did Blasphemous, we did Resident Evil, and we did Outer Wilds, like a nice diverse, a nice diverse little buffer zone of multiple different games of different genres. It was nice. And hey silly. Hey Aqua. Hey Hodrick. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for dropping by the stream. Hope you guys are having a good day today. April 2nd. Hopefully you didn't get pranked too much yesterday. Uh, it sucked being on April Fool's on the internet. Like so many things like you can't anything that I any I follow a lot of like manga and manwas and stuff like that on the internet. And just like yesterday, all the scan leaders were releasing joke, joke chapters out. And I was like, no, <laughs> do you know how sad it is to like click on an update? Be like, yes, new chapter. And it's just like, a, it's just a joke chapter with all the, with just like random, random, <laughs> random text and like these nuts jokes and like random editor jokes and stuff everywhere. The only brink here is being stuck inside my home for three god. Holy sheesh. You. <laughs> the only prank here is being stuck out of your home for three dang hours. What? Do you forget your key or something? Got locked out? Yikes, dude, you okay? They forgot to tell you your cousin did not stay home today, so you bring. <sighs> Yikes. No, I've been in that position before, dude. Being locked out sucks. It locks out. It sucks so badly. Like I'm the oldest of my of of the kids in my house, so it's like they usually they think I have. I'm like they usually forget about me and stuff like that. Like one time I came home from I came home from a trip. I was away from my house for three to four months, and because I was a uh, because I was working abroad. And I came back home and they forgot that I, they forgot that that was the day I was supposed to come back. And they, they left out the house for an entire party and I was locked outside for like six hours. That was the longest I've ever been locked out. Holy sheesh. I swear to God, if that was my younger sister, they would have been home like that. Like to welcome her at the airport and stuff like that. <laughs> That's not, <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It wasn't that bad, or it wouldn't be if it was just me. I had to rarely go pick up the kid, so it's me and him. Yikes, dude. That's sad. That's sad. I hope you were able to, like... I hope that you were at least able to, like, you know, sit outside the door of your house. And, like, connect to the internet so that you wouldn't be, like, so bored out of your mind while you were waiting for the Wi-Fi. Well, I mean, while you were waiting for your, the rest of your family to come back. Or maybe, like go to a nearby McDonald's or whatever, just hang out there until they text you that they're back home. Because I imagine that would just suck, dude. No, Barrett, he just slept and looked at the sky. Oh man, that kid of yours sounds so chill. Sounds so freaking chill. I'm not like, oh man. I wish the kids that I babysit would be that chill, you know? <laughs> Stop. Saw uh, the one of those clouds. I see, <laughs> just like blurted it out of its. He just one of the first thing he sees, first thing that pops into his head, <laughs> just points it out to you. <laughs> Not many things. There's just one universal constant whenever it comes to boys, and they he thinks in that shape. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's get on with the let's get on with the game because this is either going to be super fast or super long i'm not sure which one it is because this one this game you need to use your brain power you need to be smart in order to actually figure out the puzzles and i don't know if my smooth brain can actually do it all but yeah hopefully i want to like i don't think it'll take us too long i kind of want to spend a big chunk of today also like working on video editing offline and stuff which is why i'm also starting early and because like you know I I got a message on Amazon that 
the mic upgrade, like the Go XLR, I wanted is coming in by eight o'clock tonight. It is currently 3.38, so less than five hours until the absolute latest that the mic upgrade comes in. Like before I kept putting off the, like before whenever the mic was quote unquote supposed to come in, I kept putting off the, putting off the stream because I want to install the mic upgrade afterwards. But if I do it this time, I feel like I like after twice of the waiting, I feel like it's not going to happen. Like it's not going to come in at a timely, a timely point where we can just at a good point where we can just uh, do the upgrade, start stream, and then I can amaze you of like amaze you with like how much more control I have over my voice and stuff like that. More than three days is already garbage for him. Yeah, holy sheesh. Like, I kind of understand it being away for, like, the Easter long weekend and stuff like that. Like, if it was, oh, because Friday and, because, like, Friday and Monday, I guess. I guess those were could be considered part of Easter long weekend. But at the same time, the, my package was supposed to come in on Thursday. I put the order in on Tuesday of last week. It was supposed to come in on Thursday before the holiday weekend even started. So, like, what the frick was up with that? It should have just come straight in. Like, what was with the delay? I looked at the tracking. It said that it was at the facility inside of the town I live in. And it left that facility. So it's like, where the frick did it go? Why was it gone for so long? And I swear to God, if it doesn't come in tonight and it gets delayed again, I'm just going to cancel the order and re-put it in. Like, I'm just so sick of it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you don't even have money to order anymore. Oh. Is there any bar on the inside? After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, that these jellyfish are only used for insulation from electricity. Only had delay like that once, huh? Okay. So there are a few things that we can do. Remaining in the thing. And I think the main, like the one that I kind think I can figure out within a timely manner is, is the jellyfish thing. During a big series, your orders usually arrive earlier than expected. Oh, wow. I mean, I, I could see that being like a, both a good or a bad thing. Because imagine like the earlier it comes, like what if it comes while you're at work or whatever? And then it's like, and then it's like, it's like, oof. And then it's just sitting on your front door for God knows how long. Just waiting for a package thief to steal it from you or something. Oh, I hit the water. Okay. That's the big hurricane, but we want a counterclockwise tornado. We want the counterclockwise tornado. So no, 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 no. That one. That one right there. Okay, so the jellyfish, the jellyfish, they're apparently very insulating. The jellyfish aren't insulating, but the problem is when we, the problem is when we touch the jellyfish, it fries our systems. So it's like, wait, how are we supposed to, how are we supposed to, it's like, Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. How are we supposed to use its electrical insulation to get into the planet's core? Squishy, like from Finding Nemo. Because, I mean, if it did that to the ship. Oh god. Don't float up into a tornado, please. 
and we touch it with our bare hands. I think, because I think we've only ever touched it with the ship. Like, we're probably going to... Like, I'm pretty sure what we're supposed to do... Like, I'm pretty sure what we're supposed to do is figure out, like, how to use the dead one that is on the surface. But... No, that one's already too far low. But. <laughs> Alright, is there a second one? Is there another jellyfish anywhere? There. That one. We're supposed to use the little dead one on the surface. I swear, if I die from this, I mean, but if I die from this, I'm like, no harm. Like, we, we lose nothing. We can just go back to the surface again in the next loop. Oh sevens, I'm going to get electrocuted. I'm going to die. Oh my gosh, I knew it. 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 Maybe. Oh wait, wait, wait. Or maybe I need to. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. We need to go around the little, around the electrical tentacles. We have to go around the electrical tentacles and go inside the flowery part that wasn't, the flowery, the flowery part that wasn't, uh, the flowery part that doesn't have the electricity running through it. Nice. Now, but the only problem is like, how do we know when we're inside the core of the planet now? Does I think my guy has no eyes? Well, apparently he has four. Apparently he has two sets of eyes. He has four eyes. Oh gosh. I think we just passed into the core of the planet. I think we just passed into the core of the planet. Okay. He's a certified new. <laughs> But imagine, like, if you needed glasses and you were part of his species. Like, if you need glasses and then you had, like... <laughs> then you would have... Holy sheesh. What the f Fudge is this? What is this? Giant brain? Different lens of glasses. Yeah, I mean, like, would the insult be for nerds be like, he's an eight eyes or whatever? What is the the core of the giant's deep is a brain or something? We did get a ship log out of this, but. What the fudge? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's the last part of the of the of the orbital cannon. It's the last piece of the orbital cannon. Oh my god. So this is where it ended up. It wasn't just floating in space, it ended up in the core of the world. What do we get inside though? That's how we get inside. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Sheesh. Oh, no, we got fuel. We got, we got, we got oxygen again. Okay, we're all good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the OPC. Raimi is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory 
and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this canon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. The probe, was, the probe was made to detect the Eye of the Universe. Where's this one? It's destroyed. Real time. Yeah, three, three masks for the Ash Twin project. There are three time loopers, but we've only met two. One being ourselves. And the other still unknown. How about this pro launch module project stone? Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the, Orbo the OPC to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Oh, they will. We see it shatter into pieces the moment we start the loot. Right now, my nervous friend, we only need to fire the probe once anyway. So who minds if it compromises the OPC structural integrity? I would mind, Malo. I would mind because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. What about what's on the other side of this place? Swap polarities. And what does this thing now, what will this thing show? Okay, that's the OPC. That's Giant's Deep. Oh, God. Is this... Why, why did it zoom out so much? Receiving data from probe 9318106. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9318106. Excuse me. Times three. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Sheesh. Sorry. I don't mean to swear. Thank you for the bless. Thank you. Thank you. I swear to God, I feel like I'm swearing more and more often lately. Like, ever since I played Resident Evil, my swear filter has turned off a bit. And now I've just been swearing more and more and more. <laughs> it's like I don't want to. Oh, wait. What? What the fudge is this? Oh, it's the eye of the universe. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9,318,106. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. Found by probe, 9,318,054. They found it. They found the eye of the universe. Okay. Is that what is that? Retrieving store coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates in for the Eye of the Universe. Those are the coordinates. What does that even mean? What does this one please show? Oh, this is the OPC that's that's rotating around, but we've already been there. Another statue with its eyes open. I wonder if it's linked to someone for the Ash Twin project. Okay, I think that's everything we're going to find here. Let's go meditate to the next loop and continue on. So, do we have the coordinates to the Eye of the Universe now? Can we go there if we wanted to? Oh man, I feel as like we kind of skipped a few steps though, because like we never even got to the quantum moon or anything. 
Because I feel like the eye of the universe is the last place you want to be. It's like the very end of the game. Like the very, very end. And there's the OPC launching and destroying itself. Here we go. Probe tracking module. The orbital ProCan has launched millions of probes. The 9,318,054th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The statue in the probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Holy sheesh. That feels like the very end of the game. So we have coordinates to it now? The vessel, there's more to explore here, but we can't do the vessel yet. Black Hole Forge. Sun Station, we can't get to the Sun Station. I think we need to go... Yalo recommended that I explore the Ash Twin. God, I wish I knew how to get to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge and stuff though. Okay, I think, yeah, we'll do Ash, no, wait. Do we want to do the Ash Twin next? Because it's probably going to be a lot of waiting. Lots and lots of waiting. Lots and lots and lots of waiting. Because there's nothing we can do until all the sand drains off of it. Oh, well. Twin is where all the teleportation towers are held, right? So maybe we just gotta figure out. Or maybe, wait, maybe not Ash Twin. We'll go on to the campsite on Ember Twin and wait a few hours. So that we don't have to wait real time minutes for it all. Oh, sheesh. Where's the, where's the campsite guy? Where's the campsite guy? We're just going to land a spaceship right on his head. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He's gonna, he's, he won't mind. we we'll roast a marshmallow with him. Besides, even if we do squish him, like, he'll be alive in the next loop anyway. Who cares? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello. Don't mind me. Just going to land a spaceship on your head. Or not. Kind of. Hey, perfect landing. You won't mind. Where's Chert? Oh wait, God, I forgot to put on my suit. I almost forgot to put on my spacesuit. That could have been really bad if we landed anywhere else where there weren't trees right beside us. Oh yeah, he mentioned that some of the stars were exploding or something, right? I wonder how we're supposed to tell. Maybe it's too early. Let's roast one marshmallow at the very least. Nice holy marshmallow. Marshmallow. To be honest, I didn't. I don't really care much for like marshmallows themselves. 
The guy's a snack. Why did I blow? <laughs> the guy's a snack, like for marshmallow. Like I, like I, oh, God dang. I think there are like better sweet snacks than, than marshmallows themselves. Because I don't know. I don't like the pure sugar greenish that marshmallows are. I like them in s'mores, but I don't really like marshmallows, roasted marshmallows, on their own. You gotta balance them out with something. Yes, yes, yes. Like, I don't know. Like, it's too easy to, like... Like, they're soft and squishy. But personally, I prefer more, like, crunchy snacks. Which is why s'mores are good. But, like... Just by themselves. Just by themselves. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really wanna. I'll never, like, open up a bag of marshmallows and just, like, start snacking on them. Even if I could roast them. Stows off for a couple hours. Let the oh, sheesh. Let the sand flow. Marshmallow marangu with lemon custard on a cake or with without W E. I have no idea what those are, but they sound really good. They sound really good. Whatever. Oh whatever. Yep, it's just like the universe is about to end, or not the universe, the source is, the sun is about to explode. We're just napping for five hours straight. That should be good enough. Right? Mira Ang. Mira Ang. I see, I see. Roll. Oh, God. No. No, we don't want to be on the sand because it's going to sink to the bottom floor. There. That's fine. Mirang. Mirang. Wait, Mirang. Wait, 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 that's... Mirang, not Mira. Merang, okay, merang. Kill it. Oh, wait, we should read up on our notes on the on Ash Twin before we explore here. Yalo said to look around this place. Okay, um, Ash Twin project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective wall. No, I plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded on the Nomai statue was transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Yeah, so this is where the masks are stored and stuff. Ash Twin Tower Designs. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twin's equator. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Oh yeah, yeah, the Ash Twin is where we can figure out how to teleport to the, to the sun station. Each tower is designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allocated the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Wait, so which one? I'm guessing that one's the sun station. The connected towers are... Oh, oh, okay, wait. Uh, that one's the sun... Okay, the towers are different. The connected towers with the bridge are the twin, the hourglass twins. This one's the sun tower. I don't know which towers these ones go to, but how do I activate them? That's the thing. And then... Ash twin towers, there's more to explore here. Okay, wait, so which one... The one that's flat on the top with one with one bridge around it, that's the sun station one. I think the sun station one is the one that we should do first because that's the one that'll that, that's the one that has that's the one that we that we've seen the least of. 
We still haven't explored the sun station yet. We still haven't seen the sun station. Okay, wait. Now, which one's the sun station tower is the question. Okay, I feel like, yeah, this is the connected tower. So these are the hourglass twins. Yeah, these are the ones for the hourglass twins. Oh crap. Get under the bridge. Get under the bridge before it's sucked up. this one's a sun tower god i wish we could access the ship logs from from any of the towers i mean from wherever we were instead of having to be in the ship oh god welcome to giant's deep friends i'm sorry for oh god we're in giant's deep now if i'm not in my dwelling i'm likely in my workshop below inside the Holy sheesh. Okay, that's the giant's... Oh, the one with the spiral is the giant's deep dwelling. I see. Okay. Okay, yeah, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We can't be here. Our ship is on another world. Holy sheesh, that's the wrong tower. We want to go to the sun... Sun station. Which one's the sun station one? Oh, God, wait. Wait for the storm to pass. This one's giant steep. Where is... Which tower is the sun station? That's my problem. I can't tell which one goes to which tower. Or which tower goes to which planet? We're safe. Okay, that's giant steep. Yeah, okay, the stairs look like a tornado. The stairs look like a tornado, so that one makes sense. This one... God, I don't know. I have no idea. Which one is this one? Does this one go to? Maybe we'll just wait. We're on the warp core. Come on. It has to teleport us eventually, right? I can't tell which place this one goes to, though. Wait, I think this one goes to Brittle Hollow. I think this one goes to Brittle Hollow and the Black Hole Forge. God, I... Okay, wait. Oh my God. So that's how we get to the Black Hole Forge. We, we saw that there was a teleportation thing on the Black Hole Forge roof. But we needed to, we couldn't get to it because, because the, the teleport on the white hole, white hole station only teleports to the surface. I bet this one will teleport us to the roof, even though the, even though this, the, the pillar to the roof is, pillar to the roof is broken, but we'd actually have to like teleport over to, 
we'd have to go to the Black Hole Forge first. And then we... And then, like, send it to the roof. And then we could go up here. We gotta refill our oxygen. Oh my god, there's no trees in this place. Here we go. Which one's the sun tower, though? Gosh. I wish I knew. How are we supposed to tell which towers for which? Okay. I think this one's the sun tower. Spiky. Spiky top is telling. Oh, the sun tower is broken. No, how do we get in there? We get in there from below. This is the sun tower. Out there. There, 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 there. There, 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 there. This is the sun tower. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are, are you and Adea progressing with the sun station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious, Remy thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting you to monitor this conversation, Adea. I don't see the, what state of matter you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station will be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yaro. That, at least, we can agree on. Okay, so... Oh, God, the locked room! It's covered in... Oh, my God. I feel like I'm playing Celeste again. Every single time I see a platform... Oh god. That felt like Celeste. Every time we died from... From cactus pinpricks. I swear, every time we, like, every time there's, like, a, a, even the slightest platforming challenge or whatever, I'm going to just immediately think of Celeste and the hell that game put me through. Every single time. It's not even a question. It's just going to be instinct. Anything that has instant death spikes or anything at all. Where there's no battling, you just need to get good and getting through. Okay, wait. So the question is... The question is, do we want to do the Black Hole Forge? Since we started the... Maybe the Black Hole Forge will be the safer bet because... Because with the Black Hole Forge at the very least, we won't have to worry about the cactuses. So we can do that one first. Only problem is that it's a little bit of a pain to get there. So we gotta go over here, send the, go back to the tower, send it to the top. Wait, what am I doing? No, no, not here. Where's the... There, the, the campsite place?
There was a campsite place that directly led down to the hanging city. Here. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we still have time. Okay, only problem is... Which way was it? Was it this one? I can't remember which building... The Hanging City... There's one with the Hanging City... Route to it. Ghost matter nearby. Yep, not there. This one. Yes, this one. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. Uh, go quickly before the place collapses on us and we all die. Here we go. Here we go. Wait. This way, across the bridge. Okay. Too bad there's no way to run in this game. One way to move somewhat fast is to... Is to use up your jet fuel and you only have a limited amount of supply of that. Okay. So there's this. Then we go... Here. It's a black hole forge. And to the roof. Yeah, we're not going to jump on it this time. This time, we're going to go back to the Ash Twin Project, go into the tower, and we're going to teleport onto that square up there. Because that's the proper way to go. And the other teleportation pad on White Hole Station only goes to the surface. Please, please, please let me be smart enough that I'm correct. It definitely feels like we're correct. I mean, like, that's what the notes said. The note said that that teleport went there. But like, how much time will we really have to explore the forge? Okay. So there's that. And there's... Wait. Which side did we come from? Here. God, this would be so disorienting if this was in real life. Can you just imagine seeing people walking on the walls and stuff to get to the destination they want to be at? Okay, here. Up. Bop is equal. It's more better than running. Until you run out of fuel, that is. Okay. Reminds me of that Act 3 Slay the Spire with this endless staircases. Oh, yeah, yeah, where you have to... Wait, God, I forgot what happens in that event. Was that the one where it's like... Where it's like you could, like, choose... I think in that event, I always choose to, like, get, like, Madness or something. Hourglass Twins. Ash Twin. We gotta be quick. My support max HP over the stupid madness cards. I always use madness because they don't they like make it so one of your car like one of your cards randomly only costs one. I just hate the idea of reducing my max HP. But then again, I I only ever played the warrior character so. HP matters for that one. 
And good luck my game. Thanks, Kanaki. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, wait. Oh, don't crash. It's don't crash. Okay, that's the sun tower. That one's definitely sun tower. Do not get sucked into the... Do not get sucked into the freaking thing. Okay. I'm not crashing. I'm just pooping the planet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Gotta move quickly. Hopefully the tower that we want to get to is already low enough that we can get to it. Wait, where? No, it's on its equator. Stay away from the gigantic pillar of sand that'll pull us into heavens. Stay away from it. Okay, the problem is which tower which tower do we need to go to? I think this one. No, wait, this is the twin. Those are the twin towers, so those go to the hourglass. Uh, it's not 9 11, though, so we can't crash into it. Uh, oh, that's a bad joke. I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to think fast here, and I'm making dark humor. Sheesh. Okay, and this one is. That's a sun tower with the cactuses. Can't go to that one just yet because we're doing the black hole forge. I mean the black hole forge. Move quickly. Oh god, I don't think I don't think the tower we want to get to. I don't think the tower we want to get to has been has appeared yet. Okay, so yeah, those are the twin towers for the hourglass twins. Oh wait, maybe it has appeared. Is this one the forge tower? All I know is that we, we probably need refuel. I need refuel. Holy sheesh. We probably need to fix our landing too. Here we go. Are we filled? Wait, let's check the thing. Let's check the thing again. What does the tower say for the different for the different teleportations? Okay, the sun tower. Those are the hourglass twins. God, I don't know which one's the forge though. No wait, this one's the forge. The one the triangle head. The triangle head is the forge. The one with the petals, I'm not sure which one that one is, but that's the one that we were at before. Just now. It was the wrong tower, I think. Okay, sun. Hourglass twins. Sun Tower, Hourglass Twins. This one is the petals, the one that, the one that's next is the petals. But I don't know where that one goes yet. But that, they're not a priority at the moment. It's not a priority at the moment. Ah, oh, that's kind of intimidating. Not gonna lie. Oh wait, I think this one goes to Timber Hearth. Wait, does it? Not sure. But it's not our priority at the moment. It is not our priority at the moment. Wait, 
priority is this guy. This is the forge, isn't it? If we just wait here, we wait here, eventually we should teleport to the Black Hole Forge. Just hope that... Hope that we time... We can, I hope I'm right. Else I just timed this all wrong and did everything for nothing. Mine's deep. That one's not the right planet we need to go to. We need to go to Brittle Hollow. To the Black Hole Forge. Here's Brittle Hollow. Teleport. I'm a god. Oh my god. We were right. <laughs> yes, we're so smart. We're so smart. Okay, okay, okay. Black hole forge to the left 30 meters. Yeah, we'll do that in a sec. Holy sheesh. Oh my god. Black hole forge north 40 meters. Don't want to do that. Do not want to do that. Is it too surface? No, no, no. We want to stay on this side of the planet. Yes, okay, yeah, there was nothing there. Let's go. Black Hole's Forge. Black Hole Forge. Finally, more info. Here we go. To the left, over. So what's this? Uh, another one of the things. I don't see... I don't see one of the casing thing, or the one of the... When the plate thingies anywhere. The ship is 14 kilometers away. Small solar system. Be cautious near the boarding area while the Black Coral Forge is in op operation. Here we go. Scroll. First, we'll read this. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, poke Clary. I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations. So those deliveries will be a greater pain in your cervi cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yaro, he's familiar with them. But we already, we already have the map. We already checked out the map, so we know that already. Then this one. Note, Yaro believes he spot a flaw in the warp tower designs, namely that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate, because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. Huh. Oh, and there's the projection stone for outside. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the central of the astral body to which it's attuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower's base were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. Sheesh. Larry is throwing throwing shade holy sheesh 
We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last, last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Huh. Wait. That's it? Isn't there... No, there has to be more to the black hole fortune just that. That was one room. There was no forge... Forge, forging second, forging section to show where they literally constructed black holes out of. What the fudge? Okay. I have good news, Yaro. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core's finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautiful. Holy sheesh, I hope this place doesn't collapse on us. I hate Brittle Hollow so much. Brittle Hollow is so freaking annoying. Okay, the three... Three masks. Yeah. But yeah, there has to be more to the... It's the freaking black hole forge, right? This is the place where they forge black holes. How come there's nothing but just documents here? Shouldn't there be... More... Shouldn't there be like, I don't know... I wasn't looking looking for like an anvil or anything, but because I doubt you could just like literally forge black hole from an anvil, but still. Okay, I don't know how much time we have left, but I think we're going to go back and warp back to warp, warp blah, warp back to Ash Twin, and then maybe check out that one other tower that isn't the Sun Tower. I'm not sure if I'll be able to survive the cactus, the cactus room for the sun tower. We're back. Funny how we need to wait for the right timing for to warp. Wait, no, we're still here. Wait, here we go. Okay, now which way brings us to? Where does this one lead us to? I think this one will send us to Timber Hearth. I'm pretty sure it'll send us to Timber Hearth. That sun's looking mighty red. Yeah, I knew it. We're back home. Yeah, so there's no point in this one because we already we've already been to this planet. Holy sheesh! Okay, now where's the sun? Okay, past the twin towers. Because those are the hourglass twins. We, there's a sun tower. We go around to the back side. Okay. Practice wall. Holy sheesh. Can we actually make it this time though? I'm not sure.
Nope, we died. <laughs> we died from the cactuses. That's going to be the true final boss in this game, not the... <laughs> Not the puzzles, just the cactus, the cactus hallway. Holy sheesh, that cactus hallway is difficult. <gasps> uh, let's doze off for like five hours. Five, six. Seven. That's only one hour. Yeah, because we need to let the sand fall down at least a little bit so we can get to the sun tower right away. Sheesh, but we're making so much progress. Two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five. Six? Okay, that's good enough. Man, that cactus room, though. We're going to die so many times off of it. At least that's one more, one more of the entry fully... One more entry completed, I think. Yeah, the Black Hole Forge. Nice, we got everything there. Alignment Angle Diagram. Ash Twin Tower Designs. Yep, we already found that. Advanced War Corps was approved for the installation on Ash Twin. We still need to get to the Sun Station. And we still don't know how to get to the Quantum Area. I wonder what I missed on Brittle Hollow on how to get to the Quantum Moon. Like, or how to get onto the quantum, the quantum, quantum tower, the tower of quantum knowledge, so that we can actually learn how to land on the quantum moon. There we go. Make sure that the sun isn't between us and the planet. And there's the quantum moon right there. Oh, not Ember Twin. Want to crash into Ember Twin? Hey, okay, yeah, we'll land right here. Nice. All full up on fuel and health, or fuel and oxygen. Now we just need to get to the sun tower. Okay, that's not the sun tower. This is the Sun Tower. Okay, let's do this. God, is there any way to do this easily? I doubt we can... We put, no, we can't screw... We can't... We can't squeeze through there. Oh, God. I'm so bad at this. Cactus. 
cactus hallway. Fudge popsicles. Okay, three, two, one. Immediately crash into it. Oh, we made it through. And that leads to the outside, but we want to teleport into the sun. Well, wait, no, not into the sun, but this will lead us to the sun station, probably, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, there it is. It's about to line up. And it, it didn't do anything. Oh. Holy sheesh. This is it, isn't it? We're on the sun station. I remember the note saying that we couldn't land on it normally, so good thing we never tried in the first place. Opens emergency door. Oh God, no. 281,042 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. 10 minutes, 52 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. And we're opening those emergency doors right now. Oh my God. Oh shit! Sheesh! 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 Oh, thank okay. God, we actually made it to the. We actually made it. Okay. What is this? Mission: Science compels us to explode the sun. Can we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission assignment. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Idea. They're the ones who's causing the sun to explode? Wait, what the fudge? Was there ghost matter in this place? What did I die from? <gasps> God, we got doze off again. What killed us? We finally get to the sun station, and we die immediately from something. Okay, but we did, at least we got one entry. At least we got one entry. Here we go. Let's-a go. We are getting so close to the end, I can feel it. The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. Was the sun... So wait, we are... So there wasn't just a naturally occurring of phenomena. Somebody or the the Marni were causing the sun to freaking explode on us. 
Ash twin, come on. God, I'm not looking forward to doing the cactus hallway again. hit. There we go. There's that. Out. And... I forgot to put on this. I forgot to put on my spacesuit. I'm in such a rush that I forgot to put on my freaking spacesuit. Nope, no, no, doze off. Gotta sleep for a few hours so that the sand recedes for us. It's one. Odd, but... So why were they exploring the sun again? Oh my gosh, I gotta read the notes. Why were they doing all this? Three. Two, three, four, five. Six, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's good. Enough. There's 22 minutes between between every single. There's 22 minutes between every explosion. The sun said some mean stuff about their mothers. Because <laughs> I think okay, the sun station make the sun go supernova. this signal that I oh they created the sun station to power the ash twin project so they needed to harness the power of the supernova to make the time looping ash twin project actually work so they were really banking on like their future selves being able to like solve all the problems in the universe within 22 minutes huh they were really banking on that 22 minutes of time that was that they could and that was all they needed like an in like yeah it's an infinite number of 22 minutes but i mean it's still only 22 minutes i mean like they're lucky their solar system is so small because like imagine like if one of the things they needed to you know solve the secrets of the universe to get to the eye of the universe couldn't be reached within 22 minutes of time, you know? They'd be just stuck in an infinite loop of boom. Yeah, it's endless for a survivor, but for the rest of us, we still haven't met the third time looper, though. In a way, it's kind of nihilistic. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Oh, sheesh. No! No! How many times are we going to die? Use I just want to make pro. <laughs> yeah, God. Just how many millions of points? Well, I guess it's a small universe. How many thousands? Hundreds of lives have died off because of our, because of the endless loops that we've gone through. We're not even the same Aaron as the first, as the first one. Ooh. Yeah, 
Maybe six minutes. We'll wait. Because by six minutes, the Ash Twin circles around the sun enough that we can go through it. Or... Five... Six. Okay, let's go. Use ship log. But we have the... We have the... We have the spacesuit on this time. What is that? Oh, it's... Wait, what is that? We're going to get distracted by a random thing floating in space. We've never heard of that we've never seen before. Is this one the probe? Is this the probe? I don't remember because I don't remember us being able to target this ever before. It's a supernova. Identified signal nearby. Wait, wait. Arbo here, checking on the deep space satellite ground controls request to check out a possible equipment problem. Hornfells, I do, I do too work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here among the distant stars in the soft, velvety darkness. But it's awfully nice for naps too. All right, the lens. All right, little satellite. Let's see what the trouble is. Huh? Everything looks a-ok. -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens. And no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. You're that pal, you're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Oh my god. Let's get back in the ship. Get back in the ship. Crap, nope. Back in the ship. Distress beacon powder well. Wait, so we can only scan it while we're... Deep Space Satellite, Deep Space Radio? Okay, I guess that's something that we have now. Deep space radio. Well, I guess that was a... Did that even do anything for us? No, it was, it was a waste of time.
Okay, so we're here. We need to be... Over here. Wait, is that the new music that we have? Deep Space Radio. Wait, what? There's another one. That's the sun. Hopefully we still have enough time to get into the sun tower and everything. Okay, that's the sun tower there. Only problem is the cactus wall. Fudge, okay. Come on. God. Seriously? Holy sheesh. The less but worse. Like at least we don't die instantly when we touch the cactuses, but still. It's a deep space satellite. And there's another one. Second deep space radio thing. Not sure where it's coming from though. Okay, here we go. Sun? Where's the sun station? No, we didn't line up with it. Wait, what? Deep space radio is coming from Timber Hearth? Why is there deep space radio coming from Timber Hearth? Hopefully we didn't waste too much time. Okay, here we go. Here we go, sun station. Gun station. Come on. No sensation. And there's the quantum moon. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. I know, but we don't have a choice. Where's the sun station? <laughs> That's one of the bad things about this game. Like, if you're just waiting for the timing of something, all you have to, all you can do is just stand in one spot and wait can do nothing.
We have literally nothing to do while we just wait for the stars to literally align in place for us. Yeah, it's like, don't mind me. We're just waiting for, you know, the inevitable explosion of the freaking sun. Are we never going to align with the sensation again? Where is it? I guess at this point we can just go on our phones and just wait. Or imagine like the sun station finally aligned, but it just got blocked off by Ember Twin. Oh god, we're gonna die because we're gonna run out of oxygen. We're gonna die because we run out of oxygen before. You wonder how much more potent it would be if it was our sun? In comparison, these stars and plants are nothing but meager rocks. Yeah, holy cheese. Like, this entire solar system is just, you know, kilometers long. Only kilometers long. We're going to die because we ran out of oxygen. And these plants have... Oh, wait a minute. We're dead. I guess we spent too much time looking for deep space radio. I am curious though, what the heck, why the heck there's a deep space radio signal coming from Timber Earth? Timber, Timber Hearth. I guess we'll use that as our beginning thing while we're waiting for the sand to drain out. Out of wild quantum fluctuations, distress with deep space radio. 338 meters. Yeah, let's figure that out and then go straight to Ash Twin. Maybe we just missed the teleportation window. I thought we got everything on this planet, but apparently not. Deep space radio, huh? God, I forgot my suit. I forgot my suit. Like, even though we don't need it on this planet, still, I want to be able to jetpack around. Okay. Radio tower. So what's in here? And we're recording. Ahem, it's been two days since the launch of the deep space satellite, and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wild Ventures has... Ah, they're printing, they're printing here. They come. Stars above. Will you look at that? That's, there's Brittle Hollow. And look, look there. That's Hollow's Lantern. And there's Giant Deep. And, and the Quantum Moon. I'm speechless. Completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images. And in color, no less. Now this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. 
Doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on, wait, what? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. Well, there must be an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. I'll radio Gabro and ask him to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. Oh, we did something... We did something wrong. We did, we did it in the wrong order. We went to the deep space satellite before we went to this one. There's something missing from... The Ash Twins. That's the Ash Twins. Timber Hearth. Riddle Hollow. Giant's Deep. Giant's Deep. The... In... In... Intruder. I think. Interloper. And there's the... There's a, a Bramble... Bramble... The Bramble place. Dark Bramble. And yeah, there's... The Twins, Timber Hearth, Giant's Deep, Interloper, that. So what is not on any of these ones? Interloper, Giant's Deep, Ramble, Riddle, Riddle Hollow, Timber Hearth, Twins. Wait, then what's that planet? One, two, three, four, five, six? Sixth planet? One, two, three, four. Oh, God, I'm being called. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I'm back. My package came in. Package kun is here. Finally. It said eight o'clock at the latest. So I'm glad it came earlier than that, but it's still super late. Yeah. Um, Yeah, if that's Timber Hearth, there's a sixth planet here. A sixth hidden planet. What's this? The camp. Grabo's main radio tower. The cheese. Okay, yeah. I guess, like, I don't really want to install the new mic stuff today. Or, like, not right now during the stream. So I guess we'll just have to wait for later. Radio tower. By itself. The, the secret sixth planet. The secret sixth planet. That's what we saw. Okay, so we're here. There's the quantum. Nope, Ash Twin. Yeah, there were six planets in that final picture. And there's only five celestial bodies in the solar system. Why is the sixth one invisible? That's... Oh wait, crap. Crap, we're being pulled into the sun. 
being pulled into the sun. Nope. 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 Oh god, I forgot to abort autopilot. <laughs> oh god, how come we were struggling so much just to get to the sun station again? I mean, yeah, we made a little bit of progress, but I bet that whole radio station thing was supposed to be found much earlier. Much, much earlier. There. Suit. Should we just go to Ash Twin right now and just wait it out? Waiting sucks so much. Ember twin. I was wearing the Ember twin. You'd be able to doze off a little bit. Everything okay? That was a that was a tough fall. Wow! I can't believe our ship isn't damaged after that. Okay. I will take that. Rough bump, but totally fine. I will accept that result. There's the other ship. Now, where's our guy? I want to rest at his campsite for a second. There it is. Close enough. We're here. And we're going to doze off for toes off for five hours because that should be more than enough time for the sand to come down two three four There we go. Five hour nap. If the towers are the towers are up. Ash twin. Nope, crap. Lights landing gear cockpit damage. It's fine. It's fine. The ship is fine. The ship is fine, you guys. Okay, now we gotta move quickly before we miss the transfer. Okay, so there's the there's the tower. Sorry, not the B tower, but okay. So that's. That one was broken. 
heal refill. Okay, that's the Twin Towers over there. Which means, yep, there's the Sun Tower. Okay, let's do this again. What, fourth time's the charm? Oh my gosh, I hate the cactus wall thing. Okay. Catch it up before we lose all the oxygen. Okay, cool. Nice. The question is, how, how much time do we have We need to We're gonna heal up really quickly. Make sure we have full oxygen before we begin the wait. Hopefully we didn't just miss the we didn't just miss the timing. That's the forge tower. Oh god. It's the twins. No, I think we missed it. Oh, wait. Holy sheesh, we didn't miss it. Okay. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Okay. Emergency door. God, what? What was that? Do we keep burning to death on the sun station or something? I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. I think... I don't think it was... I don't think it was ghost water. There wasn't any... I don't think there was any, like, indication of that. But it looked like we burned to death, you know? It looked like we burned to death. I think... I think, like the sun, it grows bigger before it turns into a supernova, right? Like it turns into a red giant, and then eventually it just, it just, it just like you know, it turns into a red giant, and then. It turns into a red giant because it got so big it enveloped the sun station because of how close it was. Holy sheesh. So we really need to be fast with this game, with this thing. You have to really be fast with this.
We, we can't wait it. We, I guess six minutes is too much time. How much time? How much time do we need to give it before it'll... Before if we can freaking... Before we can... Odd. Do we just got to follow this thing for minutes on end before, so that it finally unnerves the, the sun warp pad? Okay. And there's the, the... Okay, so this is the sun. Now we just got to somehow... Okay, we're going to land here. Away from the... Away from the tower far enough that we can still see the... We need to be able to see when the... When the... When the ledge appears for us, but we need to be... We need to... Make sure we don't get sucked up into the... Thing. Odd. Yeah. The time limit. We have, like, no time to do anything. Okay, there's the first doorway. That's not the door we want to be at. Okay. The second doorway is about to appear. Put ourselves right here. Wait, not that way. Not that way. Which way to the sun door? Sun tower. This way. Okay. Nice. And then we gotta... Do not kill us. Fudge me. We're about to die. We're about to die. I don't think I can get through the thing without... I'm sad. I am sad, chat. <laughs> I am sad, chat. Oh my god. We have to wait so long. We have to wait so long. <laughs> we don't have any time at all. Okay, five minutes is too long. Six minutes is too long. We will wait three minutes. 
We'll wait three minutes for the huh, for the thing to you. For the sand to drain. Hopefully that's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's that. Are we getting music now? Oh god, I have to say this was, this is a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. This sequence is just a little bit annoying for me. Just because of how uh Just because of how quick we need to be. Hopefully three minutes was enough. Okay, I think three minutes was enough. The The tower's already starting to appear. They're starting to appear. They're nowhere close to being done, though. Before anything else, we'll just... Wait for the sand thing to, to move over. There we go. Now the scout's on it. The scout is on it, so we know exactly when the where the sun tower is. We'll know exactly where the sun tower is. Boom. Now fall through there. Scout, scout this way. Okay, three minutes is perfect. Three minutes is the most we'll ever do. Budge, but this part. God, I hate this part so much. We have to do it every time. Come on! Did I even get pricked by? Okay, we're going to go heal up. And heal up, then go back to the thing. And pray to God that we didn't miss the we didn't miss the teleportation with this little detour. Back to the scout. Go. 
now we just gotta wait and wait that's there it is there it is please perfect okay hopefully we came early enough that we have enough time to actually explore the place that okay you read that one before it's up here maybe quick we need to be quick. We do not have a lot of time. I do not see any scrolls up here for us to read. No, okay, okay. Nothing down there, let's go. Quickly, quickly, before the sun grows to a size that kills us all. Destroy 12, 2 minutes, 12 seconds. 2 minutes and 12 seconds, oh my god. We have 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Holy sheesh, holy sheesh, holy sheesh. We need to get whatever's here. That, 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 that. Ash twin. Sun station not fire. It fired Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. Wait, let's scan it all, and then we'll read it. Read the logs. There we go. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. It did. Don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over. I'm sure how to start over. Return to the Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change in the task will help. Spire knows the comet approaching the star system we'd like to investigate. Then we found the origin of the ghost matter. Hi, I heard for you, my friends. We all know how hard you both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yarrow, as, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploring the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. Okay, so they want to explode the sun so that they could... They wanted to explode the sun so that they could have enough power for enough power for the Ash Twin project, but it didn't work. And now that the sun is exploding, it's like that's it activated the Ash Twin project, even though even though they're all dead and gone by now, because probably like hundreds of thousands of years have passed. Okay. So hopefully that was everything we needed. Hopefully that was everything we needed. I didn't see anything on the top floor. So, that might mean we missed something. Come on. So they failed. Who put Cacti in the universe? Last Bastion of Hope. Yeah, holy sheesh. Cacti is like... Cacti and time. They're, those things are like the worst enemies of... My worst enemies. But holy sheesh, the sun, the sun place had less stuff than I thought it would. I would have more. Full scan, full scan, full scan, full scan, full scan, full scan, full scan. Yep, we scanned, we scanned all that. And there's no more scroll things here. Oh, it's expanding. It's expanding. Okay, I think that was... Oh god, what else is left? 
it was good run if it was it was a good run should be easier now yeah wait what do we have left to do i think all that we have left is the quantum stuff You know, my fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They conclude that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to the Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. Yeah, the only thing we have left is the vessel and the quantum stuff on Brittle Hollow. There's still stuff for the gravity cannon. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That that kind of irks me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because like... Okay, I guess we'll check out the Gravity Cannon first on Brittle Hollow. Because apparently there's still something on the Gravity Cannon that we can... We can't... That we just straight up missed. There's something we just straight up missed. But the question is, how do we get to how do we get to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? That's what I don't know. And there's the quantum moon again. It's always there. It's always there at the at the planet that we go to. That's what I don't Hey, uh, gravity cannon. We'll do the gravity cannon first. Teleport. Oh, wait, there it is. Apparently we missed something. But what did we miss is the question. Oh god, oh god. I I did not miss almost falling into the black hole. Oh my god. Crossroads west, 350 meters. Do you have any ideas, Urza? What we might have how to get to the tower? Holy sheesh. Currently resting on the quantum moon, yeah. Oh that summons it back. That summons the shuttle back. From the quantum moon. Wait, not Urza, Hodrick. Fudge. Hey, my viewers mixed up now. The fudge. What is wrong with me? Okay, so we're here in the shuttle. I'm pretty sure we got that already. It has a warp core right there. And this launches us, but we don't... I don't... I don't think that's necessary at the moment. What do we miss from the gravity cannon itself? Southern Observatory, no. We need to go there yet. That launches us back up. Crossroads west, 350 meters. This way? No, we're totally missing something.
Wait, what's this? Oh wait, no, it's just, it's nothing. It's just, uh, something? It sends... No, that just sends you down into the black hole. No, it doesn't. It sends you down to somewhere? Where's this place? Oh, wait. No, yeah, it is a crossroads. Ask you something? Anything you want? Learn something? I know my escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Learn something. Found the vessel. They found why they came from. Sunless City on Hang City on Brittle Hollow. Sunless City on Number Twin. Yeah, we tell him about the stuff we found, but it doesn't seem like you know my died. That's really sad. Nothing. There's nothing. We'll try explore. Angry City Southern Observatory. the tower of quantum knowledge but how do we get to it how do we get to that <laughs> surface integrity 77% Definitely can't fly up there. Wait a minute. Ninety seven percent. This section of the tower. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge is going to fall into... Eventually, it's going to fall into the black hole, right? Then it'll be floating in space around the white hole. And then when it's floating in space, we should just be able to just fly up there. As we won't have to worry about this thing anymore, right? We just gotta wait for... Got, oh man, more waiting! Wait, I think that's it. Why else would they put one of the most important... One of the more important sections of the, of the game to 52%? Okay, wait. One of the more important buildings in the game... One of the more important buildings in the game on one of the collapsible sections, other than just to screw with players. Okay, I want to make sure we have enough fuel and oxygen. When it's at, when the next asteroid hits, when the next comet hits, and the surface integrity, because I think it takes four hits to for the part to collapse. So like we'll swap this right away. Fifty-two percent. 
Why isn't this guy... <laughs> Why isn't this guy, like, you know... Worried. 52%. God, I hope I'm right about this. Okay, 28%. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The tower is going to fall any second now. Then once it falls into the dark blackness of space, we can just fly up with zero gravity into the tower area. Hopefully we have enough oxygen. Yep. Peak gameplay, just... Oh god! <laughs> For a second I thought I, we fell off into the black hole already. No, no, no. Just wait here on the grab thing. It'll keep us stuck to it. Maybe I should wait on this one. Because then I'll, then I'll be able to just face the direction we want to go. We just gotta wait for another meteor from the sun to hit. How much time will it take though? Here we are. You know, if I could, I would do an unboxing right now. Actually, wait, you know what? While we're waiting, I might as well unbox my package. Okay. Got my package on here. Too bad I can't show you guys anything, or else I would, you guys would see my, my ugly face and all that. I am opening up package gun. He's been gone for way too long. Now I'm going to claim my prize. Let's get my loot that I paid for. Oh, sheesh. Oh, service integrity 14%. Oh. Okay, so maybe we had more time than I thought. I thought I would have. Seven percent. Unpackaged, and there's our Go XLR. And the box is stained. What the fudge? Did they leave it in a puddle or something? That's... What did they do to my package? Did I leave it in the rain? Here, I'll take some photos for you guys. Oh wait. Oh, God. 3%? How much? I'll send the pictures in the Discord so you guys can see.
Okay, I sent the pictures. And am I wrong? Is that the is 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 that the sun's about to explode music already starting? Holy sheesh. Oh, there it is. There it goes. We're falling. Three detective, where are we? Where's our... Okay, there's a scout. Good thing we scouted it. Holy sheesh, though. Hopefully we still have time. Uh, don't see any of the plates for that yet. Second floor. Quantum knowledge, but holy, we are so smart. Okay. Quantum knowledge. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. You can't. Stop moving. Okay. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought, us, brought them to the system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin with no communication between those two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked to look upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's goal to our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before he discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity. Oh. Just a lore thing. Okay, hopefully this one has something that we can use. Welcome, welcome Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. But remember the final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. Wait, what? Yeah, it told me about had they made it to the quantum moon but i still don't know how to get on the quantum moon how do i get on the quantum moon god no is it going to explode soon I don't have Where do we find the where do we find the tile for this one? I didn't see a tile anywhere. Yeah, I saw I saw that. Where's the, where's the tile so that we can read whatever's on that wall? How come nothing told us how to land on the quantum moon? Okay. 
Okay, so the quantum moon teleports between all of these planets. The sixth, wait, one. Riddle. Okay, there's the there's the. Bramble. That's the that's Giant's Deep. Riddle Hollow. Timber Hearth. The twin. The twin. The twin. The Ashton twins. And the sixth place it teleports to is. The Eye of the Universe. That's how you get there, but... What is that? Fuel level critical. I didn't see... Only problem side... Oh, God. Why? Why? There's the, there's the, there's the end music. We're gonna die now. Hopefully, when we get back to the ship, we're not going, we're gonna look at the tower and it's like, we won't say there's more to explore here. Hopefully it was just a fluff piece. What are the odds of that? It just being a fluff piece, that doesn't matter. I didn't see... Yeah, because I didn't see... <sighs> What's this? Just the core of the planet? Let's just watch ourselves get blown up again. Are those a bunch of other stars also exploding? Here it comes. Whoa, what's that? How are we supposed to land on the quantum moon? I don't know. I thought that it would have given us instructions, but it didn't. Okay, Nomai built the shrine on the quantum moon to aid, aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. Okay. The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in, in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. The quantum moon sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. <clears throat> the main Nomai went on a pilgrimage, which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth. The shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. The shrine on the... What? How? Are we supposed to... No one built on Brill Hall observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. No one on Ember Twin observed a moon that would disappear when no one was watching. A no one named Stolen landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. A 
quantum moon that no... Uh, there's still the vessel. Okay, I have no idea. How are we supposed to land on it? Quantum moon locator. Possibly twin on... Yeah. Going somewhere on Giant's Deep. The Nomite detected a quantum signal coming from Giant's Deep. We missed it. We missed that. There's a quantum signal on Giant's Deep. Wait. That's how we do it. Okay, wait. We gotta go on Giant's Deep. We need to turn on the thing. Quantum fluctu fluctuations. Okay, Giant's Deep. Holy sheesh. Holy sheesh. forgot about the quantum fluctuation like this these are for the shards right but God, it's inside that one. The quantum fluctuations are inside the giant one. Totally forgot about the gigantic... Guess we just gotta go in there. No, we can't? Okay, wait. Maybe we need to go up from underneath. We need to go up from underneath. We gotta go up from underneath it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. Uh, where's the counterclockwise tornado? There, there it is. Over there. Go here. Into that one. We'll go underneath and up into... Okay. Now where's the big one? These are all normal size ones. This one. Oh, it's another island. Okay, this one will teach us how to get to the quantum moon. This one will teach us how to get to the quantum moon. Here we go. Giant's deep. Forty one meters away. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey.
Enter this place without friends, however, these are lessons to learn for yourself. Oh, enter down there. Wait, what? Museum shard from Timber Hearth. The timber Hearth. The Tower Shard. The Cave Shard. Okay, I guess we gotta go down here. Seek the Wandering Arch. Oh god, that's... Ah, yeah, the art... This place is full of quantum stuff, they all disappear. That's the Wandering Arch. This one. Island shard. And what's in here? This one. Preserving an image of a quantum object. Observing a quantum object and observing the image of a quantum object are the same thing. Okay. Observing a quantum object and observing the image of a quantum object are the same thing. What does that have to do with us? Same message on all the things. Can't go up there. Wait, then where do we go from here? There's no way out of this section. I thought, I just, thought we were onto something. Oh, wait, wait, the arch. The arch. The wandering arch. It's gone. It's gone to there. I mean, no. 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 Come on. Appear in front of us. Come on. I know you're here. The wandering Arch. Yeah, it's there now. But now it's there. It's never in the spot that we need it to be. It's there. We need to get to it. How do we get to it? Wait, I got to you. I 
get to it. What the fudge? How am I supposed to get to it? Because, yeah, it's going to disappear. Yeah, exactly. How do I get to it? Observing. If I just look at my feet the entire time. I look at my feet. I look at my feet. I don't freaking know. Wait, 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 wait. Observing the picture of a wandering arch are the same. That's it. We take a photo of it. And because we're still observing it, not going to disappear on us. Aha! We're so smart, thank god. Observing the picture. Okay. There's the island shard. Okay. It's in this one. Will you t finally teach me how to. disappeared so we take a picture of it so it stays in one spot what does it want us to do the arch and the crystal do not naturally meet in the crystal. Hey, okay, 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 wait. There's a... There it is. Okay, wait. Let me take a picture of them together. Nice. Wait, so is that it? That's all we need to do? We need to just take a picture of the quantum moon before you landed on it? That was it? You just need to take a picture of the quantum moon? That's how you land on the quantum moon? You just take a picture of it? This is the last one, but we made it harder. Disappears. Oh, I see. I see. I see. We gotta have it like this so that we take a picture of this. Nope. We need it to be above us. Nope. There we go. Then we take a picture of it like that. Nice. Now we're up. Now what? Here it is. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow after. Fudge, wait, no! I hope that was the last one. Oh god, do we have to do it again? Just to be safe, we gotta do the whole thing all over again. Just to be safe that we didn't miss anything in the last room. We only got the one 
Because what are the odds that there's only the one message in the last room? Sheesh. But oh god, so this is how you this is how you land on the quantum moon. You take a picture of it before you <laughs> You take a picture of it before you land on it. And you just keep looking at the picture and then you'll be able to land on it. Sounds like a picky moon, yeah, holy shit. We're almost at the eye of the universe, though. So. Okay, let's do this. Okay, seek the wandering arch. This one's easy, you just need to keep looking at it. Hold down. Right here, we fall down again. We take the photo of it, boom. Because we're looking at the photo of it. Center. Right, and then we take the photo of the crystal. Wait for. Yeah, I'm looking at the thing. Why doesn't it? There we go. And then they're both together there. beginning though. one message in retrospect I could have gone into the ship and then just I could have gone to the ship and then just check the computer to see if it was the last one whatever we did what we needed to do Hip log. Power of quantum trials, thank you. Little quantum imaging. Okay. That's okay, so we know what to do now. We need to find the quantum moon. We need to take a photo of it. So that it stays in our line of sight as we approach it, instead of disappearing once we try to land on it. And of course, the moment I try to launch, I break the cockpit. Can't go into space with a cracked cockpit. Okay. What does this do? This grounds us. Oh, well, I guess we'll leave.
A quantum moon. Hey, look at that. It's right there. Okay, so we're looking at the quantum moon now. It's we have a photo of it. Cancel. Okay, it's okay. We're still looking at a photo of it. We're lucky that's right here. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, we're on the quantum moon now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Actually, we. Oh man, we're out of time. Quantum moon. Hey, that's a ship. Here we go. God, the universe can't explode now. We're finally making progress. We're on the gas planet. Recall the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Okay. And then the, now we're on Timber Hearth. Darkness. Light. Still on Timber Hearth. We need to go. Darkness. Ron Bramble. The world's about to explode, isn't it? The world exploded. No point anymore. Oh my god! We fought. Oh. We finally know how to land on the quantum moon. It's okay. This next loop is going to be epic. We're at the end. I think we're finally at the end. I think we're finally, finally, finally at the end. We know everything that we need to know about the rocks. Finally, 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 finally at the end. Holy sheesh, it's taken so long to get here. Well, I guess we're not at the end end yet. We need to get... I think we need to fix a warp core or something for the vessel. Quantum Shrine. Now we just need to go to the sixth location.
That's where we need to get to. Quantum Moon. Quantum Moon, baby. That was my fault. I shouldn't have gone into landing mode. Oh, sheesh. Where is it? There it is. I think it's gone again. Nope, it's right there. not go into landing mode. Do not go into landing mode because the quantum moon is shy like a sundary and the moment we... Oh my god. What is this? Quantum Move didn't have all these thorns the last time I came here. Does it change according to the planet that's currently surrounding? Going to landing mode, got it. Jeez. Okay, okay. So we're here. Close the door. Okay, so we're now we're in Timber Hollow. We're in, we're in Giant's Deep. Here we are. This is it. Maybe we need to... Okay, how do we make the rock go away? Rule of quantum entanglement. Quantum imaging. We call the rule the sixth location. Recall, recall the rule of the sixth location. 
I forget what the rule of the sixth location was. Wait, what is... to leave the door open when we teleport over. We need to leave the door open when we teleport over. Okay. We'll try this again. Alright, Dark. No, it's not going to be utter darkness as long as... We're in the Ash Twins. Off. On. We're Hearth. Ash Twins. Off. Okay. Oh no, uh, I forget what's the rule of the... I forget the rule of the... Uh, well, oh god, I got... I think I need to check my ship again. I forget the rule of the final... of the final area. Off. On. Bramble. It's fine, it can be on Bramble. There's our ship. Our ship is gone. <laughs> Where are you, ship? Okay, wait. I gotta use the washroom. So, <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Turn the lights off. 
Okay, so we're on we're around Bramble thing. I think the the area changes. The surface changes depending on Yeah, yeah, yeah. The The surface of the quantum moon changes depending on what place we're at, what the planet we're on. That's why it looked different when we were on the Bramble Thorn. And when we came on it, when it was on the temple, on, uh, on, uh, on the Tempest Island. Okay, so now it's on Twin Ashes. Now it's on... Holy sheesh. Holy sheesh. I don't suppose... Gigantic, gigantic tornado, of course. Nope, still guarded by the rock. So maybe we need to move the maybe we need to like move the tower to another spot in the map. Here we go. It's now it's on the North Pole. Cause the 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 guide always, the thing always said that the that we arrive at the South Pole. So that's on the North Pole. It's on the opposite side of the planet, the temple. So maybe now if we Here we go. Oh, thank God. Okay, 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 okay. So now we're in the sixth location. The eye of the universe should be here, right? Is this the end of the game? We haven't even figured out what to do with the vessel yet. God. Emergency skull. Oh. Hello? Oh my God. Hello. Talk to Sol Solanum. Who are you? What? Pick up quantum moonstone. Pick up you stone. Pick up identify stone. Pick up explain stone. Uh, I guess we'll identify. Identify 
me? What am I? I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Okay. Identify you. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Identify the quantum moon. This is the quantum moon where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Identify the eye of the universe. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now. Although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this solar system. Okay. So not identify. Um, explain. Me. Explain me. I imagine your purpose here is, to, is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did? Explain you. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai in my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other piece we, or any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye, while the eye is obscured from our sight. We can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Okay. Explain the quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, the moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually become quantum too. Ah. So, in the in the in the which came first question, the eye was quantum first and it made everything else quantum. Everything else that came into near contact with it. Explain the eye of the universe. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Okay. I don't... Okay, so we can, we can also, 
through these combinations. I imagine you've noticed that quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giants Deep than it does when orbiting Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum move becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Okay, uh, sheesh. Okay, uh, let's do all the quantum moon variations. Quantum moon to him. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us has come to seeing the eye itself. We're getting a sense of what it wants us to do here. Yeah, right? You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Yeah, this has been this is ages after he should have like the rest of his the rest of his species are all dead. He's the last one left. I think the quantum moon has like weird time time stuff as well happening. Not just space stuff. Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So we've done all the quantum moon stuff. Let's do, um, identify, let's do the two yellow ones. What does this do? Identify and explain. There are two tenets of know my philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Okay, so that doesn't do anything for us. We've already done both all everything with the clear. Okay. Uh, let's see what's him to me. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Yeah, so yeah, Sola Russ. I think that was his name, Sola Russ. We can be friends. Uh, let's do him to the eye of the universe. Many in my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent. So I've lured my clan to this star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself. Someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Wait, did we already do this one? Okay, then let's do... Let's do... Us in relation to the eye. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of the conscious observer might be? Okay, I think that's everything. I think that's everything, yeah. Do we just fly up there? We're going to see Ship log updated. Oh man, Solaris. He died. Or was that Solaris? I don't know. It could be another Nomai that went on pilgrimage. Quantum Moon. Quantum Flux. Wait. We're back on tim timber. Disappeared. Okay. So we tried to fly into the. We tried to fly into the thing. But it didn't do anything for us.
Whoa. Oh, we're on Bramble. Great, I was really hoping that would be the end of the game, but it's not. So that, that, that led us Solanum. Yeah, that was Solanum that we talked to. Okay, I think we got reset. Mete until next loop. Well, okay, so we, what? We found the eye of the universe and it just sent us back to the quantum moon. We found the eye of the universe and all it did was send us back to the quantum moon. Wait, so how do, what do we do now? Oh my God. Once I entered the loose would stop. Yeah, same here. Okay, we, we still need to figure out the Ash Twin project. Okay, we're not done yet. We still gotta figure out the Ash Twin project. There's still there's still uh the Ash Twin project and the warp core that's on the vessel. But there's still two more things. Like all possible realities collapse into one. Yeah, something like that. Six location, quantum moon. I met a living Nomai called Solanum on the South Pole. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macrosco macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to ever enter the eye. Solanum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai in the spacesuit near the South Pole. There's no more... There's no more... I guess that was everything we need to find from the gravity cannon. And that was everything for the quantum moon. So all the, th the only things that we need to figure out still are just... The Ash Twin Project and the vessel. Reporting of the original signal that Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in the dark bramble. The Nomai decided to migrate from the old settlement to the northern. Okay, yeah, we got that. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels, the remaining where they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. We know that the warp core is broken. We can get a we can get a working warp core from We know where to get warp working warp core. We can go to the Ember Ember Twin and get warp core from there. Ash twin. The central chamber inside Ashton was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai planned to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ashton. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue was transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ashton. An advanced warp core was approved for installation at the central chamber of Ashton. Ocean depths. Station. <laughs> we never went to Hollow's Lantern, but I can't help but feel like there's probably nothing there. Yeah, because we crashed on it before. It's just a thing of lava. God, I don't know what to do next. Uh, we can get, we can get a, we can get a warp core from, we can get a warp core from the Ember Twin. We can get a warp core from the Ember Twin and then we can take that warp core.
we can get the warp core from the Ember Twin, and then we can take that warp core to the vessel. But... <laughs> I don't know if that's quite right, you know? Because that, that takes us away from the Ashen Twin project. I don't know how we're supposed to get into, like, the center of the Ashen Twin. So we can get to the... Okay. God, how do we get... Oh, yeah, we gotta be fast. We gotta be, like, Sonic. Okay. Let's speed run this again before the before the path to the warp core is buried. Okay. Here? I remember the pathway I think. To the left? go here we go quickly 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 left pathway to the stalagmites and stalactites where it's all spiky and spiny here it is through the hole into here we gotta get a warp cord really quickly Holy Schmeckle is my favorite mobile Steam game got us to be equal. Springstone. Energy Lab Trailhead. Yeah, that one. Which game is that, Hodrick? Your favorite mobile Steam game? Buried Borns. Can't say I've ever heard of it before. Which game is that? Here we go, here we go, here we go. And then we gotta wait for the cactuses. Yep, we gotta wait for the sand to fill up. Here we go. Here, if you guys enjoy the rumble with me. It's a turn-based RPG and the developers are super cool. I do love RPGs right here. We, saw, we have a bit of time to wait, so... Let me look it up. Very boring. Is it by any chance, like, inspired by Bloodborne? Wait, so it got a sequel. So, they... So that means there's the base game, and they made it even... The oldest and most overbearing prophecy has become reality. This endless and merciless warfare for buried borns. Army can revive forever. Is it like a roguelike? It's hardcore dungeon RPG. Choose a job and challenge a dungeon. Pick equipment and skills to defeat terrible enemies. You can enjoy a synergy, enjoy strategy and difficulty with synergy of equipment and skills. And choosing is most important in the dungeon. Are you ready for a deadly battle and ending this unprecedented disaster? It's a roguelike. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, we're almost at the top here. My God, we get punctured by. 
Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Oh, come on. Here you go. Oh, wait. Uh, I'll fly above. Quickly, 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 quickly before we get crushed to death under sand. Here we go. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah, I know. If only we could have gotten... Could have gotten, like, a special... If only we could have gotten, like... A special skill that let us, like, you know, traverse through... Traverse through the... Traverse through the ghost matter? Okay, here we go. Remove warp core, remove warp core. And apparently this stuff starts a special end. I wonder. Dark hole cores don't do anything. Dark hole and a light hole core. Well, whatever. We got ourselves a warp core. That's the important part. We got ourselves the warp core. So now we got to go into Bramble Thorn. Hopefully we didn't lose too much time. Okay, where's our ship? Ship is that way. Here, back in outer space, we need to go not brittle hollow. Where's uh, dark bramble? Dark bramble, there it is. Okay, stress beacon. Sheesh, this is... Fingers crossed, hopefully... Hopefully we have enough time. Because I know I couldn't... Solve the thing before, and we gotta move slowly. Okay. God, the distress beacon is a bit annoying to listen to, though. What the fudge? Landing camera down. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
We don't have time for this. Landing camera. We don't have all the time for these repairs. I didn't think that there was upper hull damaged. Hall dime right there. There. If I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. If I don't, if this isn't right, then I'm probably going to. If this isn't right, then I'm going to probably just search up what we're supposed to do next, because I don't know what we're supposed to do. Because I think we literally picked every fruit that we can. Okay. to go, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. There we go. Now it's landed on the... into the thing and then we have to exit out we have to exit out and go from we have to go
Ignore the eggs. Here we go. You here? Please let there be no more fish. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Wait. Mm. Woo. We didn't. We didn't get hurt from that. I thought we would have crashed or something. I got warp core right here. Already holding warp core. Warp core does not fit. Warp core does not fit. How do I drop my current warp core then? I brought a warp core all the way here, and you're going to tell me that it doesn't... What am I supposed to do if it doesn't fit? I came all this way. You know the freaking side quest that I did to get this warp core for you? Okay, what am I supposed to do with this then? We still don't know what the hexagonal thing is supposed to be. But anyways, I think I messed up because because I'm holding a warp core, I can't drop this warp core. Okay, I'm going to look it up. I'm sorry, you guys. It's lame, but I don't know what to do at this point. Outer Wilds Vessel. Outer Wilds Drop Warp Core. I feel so lame. Yep, I can't drop the warp core. It's impossible. So we kind of gimped ourselves because we went all this way here with the warp core. And then it's like, nope, can't even. So oh, it's a wrong warp core. So it's just straight up wrong because we need the big, the big double headed warp core, not the tiny one that we have right now.
Okay. Yep. I I I looked up and I got I got us a hint. Apparently we're in the completely wrong spot. We're in the completely wrong spot. I would have thought like we should have done the vessel first and then the Ash Twin project. Because you know the Ash Twin project is the big square in the center of like the map thingy. But apparently nope, the vessel is the last thing you need to do. It's the very last thing. Like we need to Apparently the first thing we gotta do is go here and we gotta do the Ash Twin project first. And apparently I was doing... Apparently I still missed something on it. Wait. You know what? It's fine. We're already, we're already here. Um... Apparently, what we need to do is that we need to teleport off of it into the Ash Queen pod. Again. That much we could have done, but apparently, like, we already found out there was one teleportation from... We already found one hourglass teleportation on the Ash Twin from... From the Ash Twin that goes to the Ember Twin. But apparently, there's a second one that goes directly to the Ash Twin project. Where is it? Where is it? Where are they? We're here. We're going to land at the campsite, rest for three minutes or so. Hopefully that'll be enough for Twin Towers to unbury themselves. Then we can experiment with those towers to see if we can teleport to the right spot. Oh, <laughs> don't burn myself. Holy sheesh. Goes off. I finally know what to do! And then I light myself on fire. One minute. Two minutes. Three minutes. No, we need a little bit more. Four minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, that should be enough. Five minutes of our 22 minute long loop. There we go. Yep, the two towers are... Free again. There's that here. Yeah, that's the Sun Tower. Are the two towers? Come on. Okay, now we just gotta figure out which one's the right one we need to go into. So, this one... One of these goes into the Ash Twin. If I recall correctly, this one had the scroll up here. We could we could take back down. Yeah, 
then we'll know which one we need to go to again. Does this one, does this one make it the Ash Twin Project one? Uh, friends visiting from the hang scene, we are playing the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab at Amber Twins on the equator. Okay, okay, that's the welcome room. I think this one goes to, this one's just from the surface of Ember Twin. This one brings us to the Ash Twin Project. This one will take us to the Ash Twin Project. But whether or not this one will... Fingers crossed. Okay, you guys, come on. Peace. Here comes the sand. Sheesh. Nope. God. I think it wasn't ready yet. It's a question. It's like whether we or not we can. We will need to. With that, where's a ship? We need to refuel on each on oxygen. The only times we can actually get to the... The only times we can actually get to the... Potentially get to the... Huh, right spot is when... Is when the thing, the sand thing is right overhead. And that's... That's dangerous because we might get sucked up into the completely wrong... Get sucked up onto the wrong planet. Please, please, please. Just let me teleport. Let me teleport. Let me teleport to where I want to go. Let us teleport. Teleport us into the Ash Twin Project. Teleport us into the Ash Twin Project, but don't... Please. Did we mess up? Did we mess up? Do we need to... Wait, how come I can't... Okay, we'll try it one more time. If this doesn't work, then we're looking for a walkthrough. 
it says the equator of Ember Twin, but like Ember Twin is buried in sand. The equator of Ember Twin is buried in sand now. So it's like, how, like, do we have like just the tiniest sliver of time to actually get to it? Like you have to teleport in while, while the sand hasn't moved completely enough. Move completely enough to bury the Ashen Twin project, but quickly, but slowly enough that, you know, the towers can actually get unburied. Sounds calm. Yeah, it is. You need to have a force. Okay, I just read up what we did wrong. I just read up on what we did wrong. The thing, you don't get warped into it. You don't get warped into it. You get pulled up by the sand. Oh wait, never mind. I was wrong. So you don't use the sand to wait. Okay, I'm going to look up a video. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, the guy's going into the Twin Towers like we did before. And people are saying this is the most difficult puzzle in the game. So I don't feel that makes me feel a bit less bad about looking up a guide. Like all, like there wasn't very, like the hints weren't very direct apparently. So a lot of people were confused with this. Okay, I see what we did. Okay, I see what we did wrong. Okay. Yeesh, I thought... I knew that it was going... Like, I knew that today was going to be the final stream for it, but I didn't think it would last four hours. I thought we had maybe, like, two to three hours more at tops, at most, and then we'd be finished. So, holy sheesh. Okay. This, this time we have to be at the end. Okay, Ember Twin. 
We're going to go to the campsite, wait three minutes so that the things are unburied. And then we're going to we're going to do this properly this time. Still kind of confused on how this thing works, but you know, whatever. Okay. Okay. We're here. We're at the campsite. We're going to sleep for three minutes. Nope, not roast marshmallows. We're going to doze off. By three minutes, I mean 18 seconds. One. No, no, let's wait a little bit longer. Let's make it four seconds. Two. Three. Four. Okay, that's good enough. Now we have liftoff. Where is the Ashen Twin? There it is. Oh god, maybe we waited. We, we ended it too early. We ended it too early. The, the buildings aren't excavated yet. It was too soon. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not too soon. There we go. Yep, the important building that we needed to be at was not... Was not... Is, is unburied. Okay, good enough. Good enough. We're good. We're good. Okay, that's a sun tower. We need to go to the twin towers. Okay, that's the back of the sun tower. Then the twin towers are over here. Thankfully, that would have been the perfect time. So the guide said we want to wait here underneath the bridge so that we don't get sucked up by the because if we would just wait here wait here normally we'll get sucked up by the sand into the we'll get by sucked up by the sand into the next planet and and then we won't activate the warp core so we're supposed to wait here or wait here wait for the sand to come and then we hit downwards on our thrusters we hit downwards on it until until we hit the warp the warp pad and then we'll be thrust into the project. It's smart, but like God, it's super vague. Super super vague. I would not have gotten that. I would not have gotten that anytime soon. You know? Army wonders if I should have refueled again. Like how much time do I have left? <sighs> now we just gotta play the waiting game again. Just gotta wait for it. Wait for the sand. If 
Wait, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. It's directly over us. Here we go. I'm winning, Kanaki. Give me one sec. We're about to win. Give me one sec. Here it comes. Boom. Hell yeah. And it's the room with... Okay, so here's the... We're in the Ash Twin Project. Nice, nice, nice. We're finally at the Ash Twin Project, and those are the masks that let us send our memories back in time. Cool, 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 cool. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we card, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin Project. A powerful and powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished lo relocating all subterranean planets we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I can still I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us in the Black Hole Forge. Now Ashwin can be connected with Giants Deep where Kessin Kisava is working with Avin to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Flox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis: It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis: The cores could not have been forged faster if Kisava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is that we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I am no longer needed for me mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Milo tells me of the cannon is doing well and that Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax some maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then, if anyone can goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Perhaps I should check in on the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that Malo, his love, will be the one at the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Malo part of the problem? Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today. They are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pai and Nidea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon to launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station to generate power of that magnitude. The supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. It's easier expressed than com expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea. But you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Yeah, the, their projects, their experiments failed, and the only reason why the Ash Twin project is working now is because our sun is naturally exploding at the end of its life. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there's another way. They weren't able to find one. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet who has newly arrived in the solar system, and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new. So we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. And then instead they found the ghost matter. They found the ghost matter that, you know, kills absolutely everything it touches. 
I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, my love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pai is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. Core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Wait, I think we already did this. Remember hearth projection stuff. My gratitude for the latest shipment. That's what we need for the ash. Yeah, I think we read read this stuff. Those were all those pieces. Twelve minutes thirty-six seconds. Received data from computer cycles. Probe tracking module. Giant deep memory statue. Ten minutes until end. Of ten minutes. We have ten minutes left until. We have ten minutes until this cycle ends. We gotta figure out what we gotta do here. Okay, wait one second here. Artificial gravity control. What's this one? I feel like we kind of need our official gravity at the moment. Oh no, we need... Moving the core will stay with the Ash Twin project. You're about to access the core about the Ash Twin. Oh my god, we need to turn off the... We're going to turn off... We only have one chance at this. Oh my god. And then we insert this warp core into the vessel. Oh my god. This is the warp core that we put in the vessel. Okay. This is the warp core we put in the vessel, but then we don't have any more redos because we stopped the Ash Twin project. We stopped the Ash Twin project. Okay, so... Maybe I shouldn't have removed it during the... Maybe I shouldn't have removed it when we only had 10 minutes left because I was reading all the lore. Is this going to give us a game over if we die? Is this going to give us a straight up game over if we die at this point? As we turn... Oh God, no, that's the ending music. I might have doomed us all. I think I might have doomed us all accidentally. I didn't mean to doom us. I just got so excited by the fact that we were making progress that I... The sun's about to explode. Any chance we can get to the... Okay, Timber Hearth. Dark Bramble. Wait. The theme is different. Is the sun not, not about to explode yet? Do we still have a bit of time? Oh my god, we gotta be quick about this. We gotta be so quick about this. It's a race against time. Holy sheesh. It's a race against time because we gotta wait for the towers to unearth themselves. So we can teleport into the... We gotta wait for the towers to unearth themselves so we can teleport into the Ash Twin Project. And then we gotta race to the Dark Bramble so that we can... We gotta race into the Dark Bramble so that we can insert the warp core into... Here? Stress beacon. Not that one.
Get to the Choppa? Yeah, essentially. The biggest Choppa of them all. so that we can get to the thorn. Okay, here we go. There's the thorn. Okay, so then we're here. Put this. Send it in so that we can... Where's our, where's our ship? There's our ship. Man. It'd be quick before the sun freaking explodes on us. Oh wait, God, are we, st yeah, you, no, don't get stuck. Then we're here, then we have to exit out before we enter, because this one's full of deadly, gigantic, man-eating fish. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, sheesh. I think I we, the ship might trigger them. Don't trigger them. Oh God, no! It gave us the game over because we turned off the Ash Twin project. <gasps> That's in the chat. Okay, wait. No. Okay, I'm going to use the washroom. This will be our final loop. This will be our final loop, okay? This will be our final loop. We're going to do it this time. Wait, please tell me at least save that we, please tell me that it at least saved, did it at least save the, because we died in the same loop that we turned it off. We died in the same loop that we turned it off. Did it save that we landed on the Ash Twin project at least? It did, it did, it did. Okay, thank God it got that one. So we don't need to waste time checking out the logs again okay because this is a race against time we'll have to just wait it out we'll have to wait it out like we'll have to actually sit there and wait for the sand to drain out so that we can get into the towers asap we gotta you we gotta we gotta wait on the sand planet 
until the towers freaking appear at the soonest possible moment because we do not have the time we do not have the time to I forgot to put my spacesuit on. I died because I freaking forgot to put our spacesuit on. Oh my god. <gasps> Some things never change. You think I would have known by now? You think I would have known by now after countless loops? Come on. So wait, so is the is the ending of the game to just do run away? We're going to put the new. We're going to put the new. Uh... There. And so we're here. We're going to go Ember Twin, and then we'll wait three minutes. Because yeah, I, looking at thinking about it again, I think it should be fine to wait a little bit because I don't. I don't want to wait for the sand to drain every single second. I think we can still make it, but uh, some things never change, huh? Fudge popsicles. Oh my god. Nope. I'm such a good pilot, I swear to god, you guys. Holy sheesh. Did you... What's damaged? Landing gear and the headlight. Safe. We're here. We're gonna doze off. We're gonna give ourselves three minutes. Because we did four minutes before. Okay, one. So technically we'd only have 19 minutes, maybe 18 minutes left until... 18 minutes or so left until the sun explodes. Okay, boom. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. We are on the clock. We are on the freaking clock. Okay. on the tower on the tower god damn just let me here we go boom we're here is the tower I'm buried Not quite enough yet. Which tower was it again? It's the one with the cactus in front of it. 
Like, I'll wait for it. As long as we're under the bridge, we're safe. As long as we're under the bridge, we won't get sucked up by whatever, by the sand thing. Come on. Come on. Well, the bridge is starting to show up. Shouldn't be too long now. Here we go. You know, for... For... Oh, God, with the fate of the universe in our hands. Things are moving super slowly here. Okay, yeah, this one's it. This one's it, because it has the broken roof on it. Now we just gotta wait. Okay, here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to get the earliest iteration. We're going to get the earliest iteration. Here it comes. Here it comes, baby. Here we go. Woo. Wait for it. Hold. Hold. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Nice. Okay. We're here. 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes. We just got to hope that we don't. The hard part is going to be get, getting past the fish. Getting past the fish. That's going to be the tough part. Okay. Okay. Turn off the gravity. Okay. Warp core is ours. Nice. Nice. The warp core is ours. Now let's go back. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now we need to hurry. Where's the ship? It's interesting how that theme starts now, once you grab the, the advanced warp core. It's like the game knows that this is the end of the game. The game knows that this is the end of the game, so it plays like, you know, the iconic theme that you're so used to hearing by now. Fuel up. Cool. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're here. We gotta get to Dark Bramble. Now we just got to cross our fingers and hope we don't get eaten by a fish. The fish is the only thing that can ruin this run now. We, are li we have literally so much time. We have so much time. God, I hate the fish so much. The fish are the worst. God, I do like this theme though. Like you, you can tell it's like it's slightly remixed because you know this is the ending. The fate of the universe lies on the <laughs> lies with the fish. Yeah. On how on how much of an how much how much of an asshole the fish will be. That one, that one. Stay away from the other lights. Stay away from the other lights. Okay. It's one. Not that one. 
towards it. This way. so good. So far, so good. Relaunch. Nice. Nice. And then we gotta make sure the ship does not go into the circle this time. But yeah, it's not gonna go in. Here we go. This is the scary part, you guys. Any damn fish. <laughs> this is pain. This is pain. I thought I was going slow. <gasps> doze off. We'll just doze off here. Three minutes. Got this next time. Hopefully. Wow, God, thought we were going slow enough that the fish, but we, I thought we went behind it, but like, maybe if I see the fish, like if the, if it doesn't feel sound, if it doesn't feel like there's enough, like time in between the fish, like maybe I should like exit out of the bramble and like going through one of the different holes or something. I got no idea. Dang, oh my god. If I had a single wish, it would be to defeat the fish. Thank you, Kanaki. I appreciate it. Holy sheesh. Oh my god. Okay, there's the hourglass twins. We already waited three minutes, so we should be close to the same spot as we were last time. Should be close to the same spot as we were the last time. Maybe we should do four minutes. Maybe four minutes is okay. It's okay to like lose a minute. It's okay to lose like one minute of time or something like that. suit is on. Which way to the... This way.
Okay, that's the sun tower. The twin towers are this way. Yeah, I think three minutes is a bit too early. If we die to the fish again, we'll do four minutes. Like, yeah, we might lose a minute of time or something, but I mean, it's better than watching sand fall, you know? I bet, I like, I'm pretty sure, like, the time, like, the time won't be so tight that we can afford to lose a minute just so that we don't have to wait for the freaking sand to fall every time. Okay, here we go. No, wait, the thing said when we entered it was 15 minutes, so maybe we need to do five, five minutes? It's 22, and then it'll be 17, and then two minutes to get to the planet. We'll do five minute wait. Uh... I have to admit, though, it's a really beautiful game. Very stylistic. I don't, like... It's a nice break. It's a nice, uh... Like, it's nice to be playing all these different genres of game, but I have, I have to admit, I miss being able to just kill things. I miss being able to just kill things. I miss the violence. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. There's a sand pillar. Let's get in position. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Yeah, okay. We're here. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, we should we should probably do five minute wait time next time. Five minute wait, then we don't need to wait for the Cause that's seven minutes of the, our twenty two minutes burned. Okay, turn off and turn off artificial gravity. That's the warp core. Good. Let me go to our ship. enough from the sun so that we don't fly straight into it nice okay let's go I only have one problem about this plan the plan the problem is is that I don't know what to do for the final light puzzle because there's one more orb puzzle at the end of at the end of at the inside the, the inside of the vessel the problem is I don't know I don't know how to solve it, you know? So god, I hope that we can figure it out before we run out of time. I hope it's just make sure all the lights are on. Okay. 
Okay. Stress beacon. So quickly. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Only problem is that one of these is one. Seriously? Why does this have to happen now? I know that there's a fish in here, so hopefully you don't trigger it by accident. Port hall, electrical systems. Hall. We like capped something and everything went to crap. Oh yeah, I think artificial gravity is still off. What? Fuck my can't leave again. Repair artificial gravity. Okay, wait. Okay. Stress beacon. It's that one. The far one. Of course it's the far one. I know one of those lights is a fish. this in time. Wait, there it is. Go throughout there. As long as the, as long as the vessel isn't damaged, it's fine. This is the end. We just gotta hope we don't trigger a fish this time. God, I hope we don't trigger any fish this time. Okay. Okay. No, okay, I hope your wish came true. There's a lot of fish in here. Okay, 
there's the eggs. I think we're through. I think we're through. Oh god, I think we're through. Okay, 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 okay. Now we just gotta do the last part. We gotta do it within the time limit that we have left. I don't know how many minutes we have left, but it can't be a lot. Here's the end. percent fuel remaining that's fine that's fine okay the warp core is inserted Oh, the coordinates. Oh my god. Uh, one, two, three. Two. And then one, two. Nice. And then the final one. Oh, thank god it gave us the, it gave us the, thank god we found the coordinates in for the thing. Okay, and then the last one. Here, 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 here. That's it. That's it. That's it. Do we win? What is this? The Eye of the Universe? Hey, what, what do we do now? Do we just... Nope, that doesn't do anything. We're back on the quantum moon. Nope, can't. Oh wait, something. Six hundred meters away. Two time, two point four gravity. So we can't, we can't fly here. Something's here. It's not the quantum moon. I think it's at the south pole. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I can feel this. Oh god. It's making those noises. Of the universe.
Connection we scout is lost. We can't, oh God, we can't scout anymore. We can't go if we it's a quantum moon. We're not on the quantum moon anymore. Are we? We need Columbus. Yeah, that's not how we how it is lost. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to get up there? I see we walk up there this thing has gravity shenanigans too here it comes here it comes the eye of the universe holy sheesh Museum. No, my guys. Thanks to their efforts and technology, our heart team is going to reach the eye of the universe. All the lights are off. All the people are gone. Oh, how did I miss that? The stars exploding. The galaxy. Old L1. Old. So what did we? Oh, wait. So do we become an interdimensional being or something? We become connection with Scout is lost. Oh, that one has supernova too. Oh, oh, they're all all the universes. They're dying. I mean, all the galaxies. All, all the galaxies they're all they're all exploding and dying 
Is this the heat death of the universe? Quantum rocks. Where are they going? An identified signal nearby. God, something's breathing. Is it the Narnai that made it? Hello? Oh, it's... Me? to Esker. Do you hear music? Their way into the building. It's just a banjo. Yeah, there's no way into the building. We are all just marshmallows at the end of the universe. Do I hear me? Yeah, I, I heard the music. Yeah, and that's, that's the only one. It's a quantum realm. Quantum. So you need to. Okay. Gather. I guess we have the. Oh. It's all the. That's a rebate. It's um not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need to you know. Everyone. No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. Okay, so we'll need... Oh, okay. All the other explorers, they were playing instruments at their camps. The fudge. They... Hey, yellow. Oh God, yeah, we're at the very end. Thought we would. Wait, 
Wait, what? How do we get the other people? Oh, that's how you get. That's okay. Here we go. One at a time. Across old bark. Whoa. Oh wait. Wait, that's just that's, that's just the guy. Uh the guy that was inside of the that lives inside of the fish now. Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. Don't I always thought I was finished with those fish. It's always dark. Pretty sure none of them were. They're all pointing at something. Wait, do I need to get on? Three, four, wait. Oh. Okay, that's everybody. So now we can play the music. I can't wait to play with the whole group. Can I start? Not yet. What do you say? Should I get the whole? Not yet. Just say the word. Oh wait. Start to music. Not yet. No rush. Okay, maybe. Not yet. Huh. Sure. It's the song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. Yeah, let's start. This should be cool. Got the harmonica. Yeah. Yep. Start playing. Yeah, I start whistling. I begin. The bongos. And the guitar. the eye of the universe.
all from different worlds, if we touch it. fly into it oh my gosh and that's the end of outer wilds Wow. What a game. That was really something. That was definitely an experience. I can see why it has like overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. Like if I had to choose between, like, it's definitely a positive fun one for me. That was a fun concept. That was a fun game to play. Some of the some of the puzzles, though, holy, they were. Some of the puzzles, they really wrinkled me. They really stopped me in my tracks. Is it possible to skip the credits? God, what does that even mean? So like, what happened at the end there? I mean, like we found the eye of, we found the eye of the universe. And, and like we saw the end, end of the universe and stuff like that. We saw the end of the universe and like the death, like the heat death where all the galaxies all winked out one by one. There is one more post credit thing though. Okay, okay. I really love it when when like a game has like a musical theme. Like, you know, where you find a bunch of, uh, find a bunch of, like, musicians and stuff. And they all play, like, one instrument of, like, the same song. And then at the end of the game, they all come together to all play it, to all play it together. And it just all comes together in one big ensemble. I really like it when they do that stuff. Glad I had one. I did. I did. I enjoyed that. Thanks for the recommendation, y'all. It was, it was a fun experience. <laughs> I wonder if I I wonder how how terrible I was though like how like how like how my playtime compares to other people's playtimes the music's good yeah yeah the music's so good because what oh god let me check my let me check my thing uh let me check my oh wait, it's going to exit out of the game for a second let's oh never mind I wonder how my average playtime is. Because we did seven hours yesterday. Five hours today. Seven hours yesterday, five hours today. I think another three or four with one more time beforehand. So it's like a 17, 18 hour playthrough. I experienced a game at my own pace and had fun. That's what's important. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. That is true, Neko. That's what's important. But part of me just want, just hopes, like, you know, I hope that my brain was able to think of the solutions to these things. 
Like, I hope I wasn't, like, so far behind. Like, other people, like, they beat the game in, like, 12 hours or something like that. And it's, like, I had, like, five to six hours of wasted time just utterly confused. <laughs> I just don't want to be seen as dumb, you know? <laughs> and, mm, I accidentally bit my lip. It's bleeding now. That's not good. I saw someone do 20 plus? Really? I'm not gonna lie though, I did cheat at the end there. I didn't know how to get into the Ashen, like yellow. I didn't know how to get, I couldn't figure out how to get into the Ashen, the Ashen, uh, the Ashen Twin project. Couldn't figure it out, so I had, so I looked it up. Like I didn't know how to get the how to get the teleportation pad working for it. Yeah, so that did probably that cut down my time quite a bit. It was 14.3 billion years later. Was it going to open up on humans? Is it going to show us? Bug people. I can't do anything. Is something supposed to happen now? The joke ending? No, I didn't. I didn't. Something's supposed to happen now? As I'm clicking... I'm clicking buttons on my controller and... Nothing is happening. It should load the main menu back up. Is it just a bug? I'm guessing. It's probably a bug. Yeah, I think it's a bug. Give me one sec. I guess we'll try out the joke ending and then we'll, and then that'll be the end of it. <laughs> I broke the game. I just became so powerful becoming an interdimensional cosmic being after witnessing the eye of the universe. I mean, I already had that power as a primordial dragon, but I mean, get doubling the power and all that. It just completely shattered the main menu screen. Options. There we go. Full screen there. And then.
So how do I get the joke ending, Yalo? How do I get the joke ending? This the scout at the end was only only visible if I did the joke one. Wait, did I get the wrong ending then? Cause like I shot the. Cause what happened was that like. I shot my I shot my scouting probe into the eye. Okay, wait. Then let me look it up really quickly. Outer Wilds endings. Since we beat the game, it shouldn't it shouldn't be I have the universe ending. The post credit cutscene very slightly depending on what was accomplished during the playthrough. If the player found Solanum on the quantum moon, when the camera pounds down to the planet, a campfire can be seen igniting with insectoid aliens roasting marshmallows in the forest. We did that. If the player found the prisoner and invited them to join the campfire, a blue pond surrounded by stones appears in the bottom left of the frame. Found the prisoner and invited them to join the campfire. If the player found both Solanum and the prisoner, a tall lantern carrying airily and similar to a deep sea fish appears in the bottom middle of the frame. If the player lost their probe at any point while in the eye of the universe, the probe will fly past the unidentified planet. Ah, oh, I don't, I don't think I ever found the prisoner. DLC. Oh, wait, you mean the... Oh, wait. So that's how you get the joke ending. It's all right, just a bonus. Like, whatever the screen is. Oh, wait, <laughs> what's your background? That's, I'll be back. I'm talking Amino here. No, 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 I wasn't talking. I was just reading up on some of the stuff that I might have missed. I don't know how to access the DLC and stuff. Echoes of the Eye. Uh, I'm not gonna lie though, I, I don't know if I really want to do more DLC stuff. We got the main ending, and that's kind of good enough for me. I feel I feel satisfied. I kinda of satisfied with that. I mean we can't do this. Wait, wait, crap, crap, crap. No. We can do I don't I feel like it's fine to we can get the joke ending really easily. We can get the joke ending really quickly. Hourglass Moon, Hourglass Twins, Ember Twin, 
Another plank. Do it in a bit. Come on. Just because I'm at the end of I'm at the end of the stream here. Just I just want to do one thing. So we're here. Here we go. Let's try this out. Yeah, cause like, uh, yeah, like I know I'm usually all for like 100% completing the games, but I mean, This game is a little bit, is a little bit, uh, like it's enjoyable, but I'm not sure if I want to keep going. I know what to do. I know what to do for the joke. I looked up the joke. But like, and apparently the way to start the DLC is to, is to go to the museum. Because apparently there'll be like a new exhibit there or something. But I know what to do for this ending. Because I, I looked it up. <laughs> I looked it up just because I, I can't think of it myself. But yeah, it, that makes... Like, when I read it, I was like, oh, that makes sense. I can't believe I never tried that. Okay, so we're here. No, no, I want to do this one at least. Because this one's easy. The other ones all involve, you know, getting the warp core again. And that that kind of involves a bit too much waiting for my like. I think it's just the amount of time that it would take to get all those and en all those um, all the time it would take to get the warp core and stuff like kind of kind of puts me off a bit. Oh sheesh. Forgot that we had to wait for the sand to rise up here again. It's okay. It's okay. It'll 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 rise up in no time. Oh, right, yellow! You didn't see it, but I got my I got my package. I finally got my package again. Only problem is that it's so holy shush. Oh wait, maybe I should take this moment to. No, because, like, I don't know if the sand will, how quickly the sand will rise. I could do the one minute plank, but then, like. I could do the one minute plank, but then I don't know if, like. If I'll end up crushed to death and just waste all of our time. Wait for it. If only there was like a way to like speed up time in the game. Like I could just hold the like if I could just like hold down one of the buttons and I could just make time move faster. I think that would be like a very, very, very good like a very good uh addition to the game. Because so much of the game is just wasted because you're just waiting for the right time for events to happen. And like you don't want to just be standing here waiting. I think that's one like one really big improvement that devs could have implemented. Like same with that meditate until like meditate to start a new loop thing that you learn from one of the guys. Like I don't think that should be a thing you can just unlock. I think they should just be you know something you get right away at the beginning of the game because it would be a slice of that would be a quality of life improvement 
And I think quality of life improvements you don't need to wait for. I think quality of life improvements you should just get right away. We're over here. Yeah, because then, then we wouldn't have to like wait for the sand to fall on Ash and Twin. We wouldn't have to wait for the sand to rise up here. We wouldn't have to wait for wait for certain 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 uh, points in brittle in the brittle in the in the brittle planet to you know fall into the white hole so we can use the zero gravity for it. Okay, let's see the joke ending. Up here. And then the white core. Boom. And we gotta turn it on. Not fast enough. Here we go. <laughs> we cre we create we create a paradox by summoning two of the two of the scouts at the same time. <laughs> Destroyed the fabric of space time. Ah. Okay. In spite of the boss, yeah, we destroyed all of reality for a joke. Did I hear the kazoos? Kazoos? Like while we were destroying space time? No, I can't say I I can't say I did. I think we should. Zeus, your son has returned. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's where we'll end the stream for today. And uh, you know what? We should probably raid out before we end. And Aqua mentioned that Kanaki is actually live and she did raid us yesterday. So we should return a favor. Like she's never live when we are. So we should return the favor for her and say hi. And just place a song with kazoos in the credits. Oh, that's too bad. Cause I skipped the <laughs> cause I skipped the credits. Yeah, yikes, man. That's too bad. That would have been funny. But yeah, uh Thanks for everyone for coming. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of Outer Wilds. I know that I could do the DLC, but I think I'm kind of Outer Wilds out for now. Maybe I'll keep I'll keep the game in my I'll keep the game in my I'll keep the game downloaded and installed though, because maybe I'll come back to it later and then we can just play through the DLC by itself whenever I, when I want to like jump back into it or something. It's like a nice as maybe it's like another buffer maybe between Demon Souls and Elden Ring or something. But yeah, that's really different from what I usually play. Lots of thinking. I don't think I would have been smart enough to do it completely like without either like Yalo's help or like a little bit of cheating at the end there that I feel a little bad about. But uh, it was still a nice experience regardless because it, does, it doesn't feel good to... It probably isn't the healthiest thing to only play one type of game all the way all the time and stuff. 
because like you know you kind of like build yourself into like this box of kind of like opinions then you'll never get to experience anything new and try out like learn that you might like other things as well and so yeah this was a nice fresh take and stuff achiever archetype gets reformed <laughs> holy sheesh <laughs> Uh, and it's only because this one isn't my usual genre. I got, I'm just a little bit mentally tired of it. You know, I don't know how long the DLC would be. And I don't think I have it in me to spend another five to 10 hours just trying to think through all the puzzles and stuff. <laughs> I just want to go get my giant sword, whack a hard boss, see them scream in agony as they die and like call it there, you know, like, like be <laughs> just enjoy the fight the thrill of fight and stuff like that but yeah that's that's the end of this that should be the end of the stream but let's raid out to kanaki because she's live for once and she raided us yesterday so let's return the favor and you know she'll totally get embarrassed because she never wants anybody to watch her so <laughs> let's tease her a little bit okay let's go into the raid Thanks to everyone for thanks for everyone for watching. It was a lot of wait. Thanks for everyone for watching. I really enjoyed that game. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. What's well, you? See you all next time. Well, I'll see if I can get Demon Souls up and running before then. Bye. Let's go.